Hey guys, Tim here with Red Wing RC, and today we're here to do a video on surface warp. Now, a lot of people view this as a serious issue, but luckily there's an easy fix. Why are surfaces warped? Well, there's several factors. Um, on the containers, oftentimes, being on the ocean, if it's in high heat, the humidity can be astronomical, causing warp in, in these soft balsa woods. Also, during production, if the surface is heated, if the covering is heated more in one area than the other, it can shrink it more causing it to pull in, in a certain direction. Um, but something to note is that unless it's very gross, it really doesn't have a significant effect on flight. Uh, not, not so much so that you won't be able to offset it with trim. So unless you have a, a really large warp or you just wanna try and get it perfect, it may not be something that you even need to mess with. But if you do, here's how you do it. So the first thing I did is I took the Sharpie and I marked right here about where the curve began, the warp began. And then again, right about here where the warp got a little bit more severe. And then I marked here again where the warp kind of settled back down and started to stop. So you can see from the top view now, it's very easy to see exactly where the warp stops and starts. Okay guys, so this is where it helps to have a second person. And as you can see, uh, they're pulling the opposite direction that was twisted. You want to twist it to neutral and then go even more, uh, put even more twist in it, the opposite direction. And you'll see wrinkles begin to appear here. And what you want to do is make sure they have gloves on, go to your, your hot setting on your heat gun, and then start just kind of lightly tracing over those wrinkles, trying to get as much of it out as you can. Now don't, don't try and get all of them out. It's not really necessary. Um, but again, this is where maybe at, at the factory, uh, some of it was a little hotter than others. So you're just kind of offsetting that a little bit. Now I'm gonna get most of those out and then keep holding it as it cools for about five or 10 seconds. You'll see the, the color a lot of times, it goes from a darker color to lighter color as it cools. So it's, it's almost there now. Okay, and then just gently let go. You'll see the wrinkles kind of un, undo and then taking a look down the edge, it's much, much straighter. So as you can see, that was really easy. It took just a couple seconds. Now looking down this, I can see that it's, it's a lot straighter, but there is a little bit of a hump in it still. So what I did is I again marked it with a Sharpie. Um, and note, by the way, that I've removed all the other ones with just alcohol. So this Sharpie comes right off. But now I have a new mark where it kind of bubbles out towards me this way. So all I have to do is push in, heat that in a little bit, and this will be straight as an arrow. So guys, I hope that was pretty helpful. Um, you know, there, it is something that you gotta practice a little bit and kind of fine tune, but really it's not a hard thing to do. Um, if you get it within a reasonable margin, you're not gonna have it affect your flight at all. So don't, don't uh, agonize over every little nuance of the wing. But uh, thanks again for watching and thanks for supporting Red Wing RC.